Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to this play Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we uh, finished up in Coil Fang uh, Cave, or whatever that, that damn place was called. What was it called? Was it just Coil Fang? No, Coil's Bane, my bad. Um, and there was some dude named uh, what the fuck, uh, Balthazar in there that apparently was the guy actually controlling the Jotin, or Jotin, or whatever. And now we gotta go... Um, Follow, uh, what's his face? Uh, Asgarth, or whatever his name is, to the Hunter's Pit over here. Uh, I'm not sure which one of those is our primary destination, because he never said which one was actually the, um, the front entrance, but we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm pretty sure you want me to go to Hunter's Hill, right? So, you better not... Do I have to follow you over there, dude? Are you serious? That's some bull honky. How about I teleport over there? Or we could kill these guys on the way over, I guess. Why not? There you go. You know what? You, come over here. There you go. Whatever your name is, uh... Ooh, Aldroid robes, nice. And they're so... Well, I guess they're not that nice because they're robes, but they're not bad. Yeah. oh well. Whatever your name is, uh, Agarth or Aldarth or... Agarth, there you go. I don't know where I got the extra L or the G from, or the D or whatever number I had in there. But, oh well. And just so you know... Dude, what the hell? Screw you. There you go. Little bastards. Trying to ambush me out of nowhere, you little fuckers. Alright. I'm trying not to kill everything here, because we don't really need to. Actually, you know what? It's not a bad... I guess it's not a bad idea to kill them, because we get, uh, we get our fate bar filled up, so that's nice. And we could kind of use our fate bar filled up, just in case there's anything tough in there. Well, there, are, there is, uh, I'm guessing, two Atha. Since, well, they are the ones after me. And there might be some more of those uh, Escaro dudes. Which, uh, ring that we got from the priest, or whatever, uh, the, the monks, that has plus damage to Escaro, so we could actually equip that and do a pretty good hefty chunk of damage on him. Do we really gotta kill this thing? I mean, he's just kind of sitting there taking a nap, and we're over here trying to tear him up. Alright, is this the front entrance or the back entrance? You'll face their strongest guards, so it's no place for subtlety. Find their scrying mirror and smash it. I'll slip in the back and make sure none of them escape. Sounds easy enough. Um... Yeah. The mine has a main entrance and an escape tunnel. The main one is heavily guarded, and the escape is heavily trapped. I saw them bringing Bargasts down in cages, probably still being trained. Turn the beasts free, and I bet they cause some chaos for you. And by causing chaos, you mean try to kill me, so that way I have two groups of people trying to attack me. Yeah, no thanks. We'll be attacking their camp from both sides. We can't have any of them escaping to report back. Eh, fair enough. Just go inside and find those scrying mirrors. Don't worry. I'll be coming along to help. I thought you were going to take uh, the uh, other side. I'll see you inside. Okay, as long as I don't have you babysitting me, we should be good. Alright, and we have plenty of inventory space at the moment, so we are ready to go. Uh, let's see, um... Any random loots? Okay, you guys can, like, try to actually attack me instead of running away like little bitches. But, that's up to you, I guess. Oh, you're going to try to try to get the drop on me, huh? Yeah, that's not going to work, dude. Um, yeah, let's get my little fake Gorta out here. And... There you go. You know what? Screw you guys. Oh, you guys are you guys are elves, aren't you? Or whatever you guys are. Uh, not elves, uh, Tuatha. Same difference.
Ah, you guys trying to backstab me, that's not gonna work. Sorry, guys. Alright, let's grab this guy over here. Alright, uh, Faye Gorta dude, how about you go attack one of these, uh, ranger dudes, because these little fuckers are the ones that are really screwing me up here. There we go, that's nice. Nice little juggle there. Very nice. I'll take it. Very nice. Alright, and... Why is the ca How many of you dudes are still left? Oh, you're way over there. Um, yeah, you take care of him. I'll take care of this guy, because this guy is much closer to me. There you go. Nice. And we're racking up fate reasonably quick here. Uh, are you gonna kill him, or are you just gonna get uh, destroyed? Oh, great. The one time I wanted to home, it doesn't actually home. Thanks. Appreciate that. There we go. Ah, now let's click our loots, if they have anything. Why only one guy ever drops anything? I don't know. Uh, I don't really care about your daggers. Those are more or less useless. That's a real bastard setup with uh, these guys up here shooting at me while I'm trying to kill everybody else. Fuckers. And this guy was over off all by, his, all by his lonesome. I don't know what he was doing over here instead of actually trying to attack me with these guys, but oh well. You're not going to be locked. Okay, good. Uh, gauntlets of fire hindrance. Okay, I'll take that. Scroll with bark. Um, you know what? I might as well take these just for the fact that I can sell them, I guess. Screw it. If it's there, I'll take it. Especially if they're not crude. So I think the uh, the ones that aren't crude have a slightly better sell rate. And you appear to be taking a very strange nap on the side of this tent there, fella. Oh, well. Oh, this doesn't seem like that big of an area. Yeah, it's actually a reasonably small area. And you know what, we'll go without the uh, Fake Orchard for the time being. We don't need to waste our mana on him just right now. Ah, you guys. Okay, um, I kind of want to get the Raider out of the way. Ah, let's go for a nice ice on you. And hopefully my... I was going to say hopefully my Lightning, uh... Uh, screws you guys up with a nice uh, explosion, but that didn't work out so well. Okay, you! Stop with your dash attack there, dude. Ow! Fucker! There we go. Alright. These fuckers have pretty damn good teamwork. I'll give them that. They're pretty good at fucking you up. Pretty good. I wish there was a, uh, I wish there was a better way than our little staff uh, block technique to get them grabbed together. as it is, it's not really a very good way of doing it. I mean, it works sometimes, but a lot of times they're just spread out enough that it's not, uh, not really helpful, I guess. Ah, okay. Put it, there you go. Put them together. Why aren't you, why aren't you working? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button, that's why. Not bad. I guess if it's just those guys by themselves, they're not going to be too much of a problem because, well, well, they're not really all that dangerous. They're just irritating. 
Let's see. I'm guessing this is... Oh, a hidden door. Nice. About time we find another one of these. And this is a disenchanting. That's not my preferred... This is a lot of treasure chests, actually. I'm not very great with the disenchanting, but I'll give it a shot. Improved rallying grip. What does that do? Health and physical damage. That's not too bad at all, actually. I will take it. Alright, and what do I gotta do here? Hard. Okay. Um, yeah, let's save up. Damn it. That looks like it just did damage, not actually anything else. Claws of Ash Steel. Oh, those are regular daggers. Okay. Um, let's see. Not bad. They're not great, but they give gold drop, I guess. Yeah, I think those are just daggers. Okay, then we got Hood of Lightning. Hey, hey something that's not freaking... Uh, whatchamacallit? Something that's not... Um, that's not finesse for once. It's about time. Let's see, we got the Hood of Lightning. Yeah, that's finesse, though. Uh, let's see, should I... No, not you. Where was it? Um, ah, Revitalizing Greaves, so Ice Hindrance. Let's see, I would lose... What would I lose? I would lose... Um, a little bit of health. I would lose armor. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the ones I have. I mean, that's not bad, but it's nothing, it's nothing great. Uh, by the way, what was this Shrewd Band? Ooh, uh, discount to our mana cost. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, actually. I'm guessing those are just the, uh, yeah, the Azerite long swords. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. It's not great, but it's pretty decent. And I don't think that actually uh, affected me with any curses, I don't think. Nope. It just did a flat damage. Okay. Now, see, those are the type of chests I like. Do a ton of damage. I heal it off. There you go. I don't got to worry about it anymore. But when they actually... Like, curse me, and I gotta spend 15,000 gold to get rid of the damn curse. Those are the ones that I mind a little more. So, you find to you. Ain't fucking rock getting in my way of my kill, you son of a bitch. You guys have pretty decent health for being mooks. They take a few hits, that's nice. Uh, let's see, that's the jump down point from up there, I guess. More pile of rocks, okay. Plenty of hidden treasures, that's nice. I'm guessing this uh, jump down point is just going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be to get out of here, not... Uh... Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. I thought it was going to take us somewhere else, okay. I thought it was going to be jumped down from the other side. By the way, how come we can't get a weapon that looks like this? You son of a bitch, where the fuck did you come from? You know what? Give me my little, uh, dude. Okay, that better. Okay, it did summon him good. You know what? Screw you guys. I kinda want all of you guys together, that'd be nice. There you go. Now see, when they bunch up like that, it makes it nice and easy to grab them all and do a nice quick attack and finish them off. I like it. When they uh, don't do that, well it makes it a lot harder. I don't know why these things insist on blooming whenever I go past them. I mean, are they going to like try to eat me or something? I don't get it. If they are going to try to eat me, well, they're not doing a very good job of it. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Or we could fight you guys up there. I didn't even see you. Okay. Thanks for being hidden. I appreciate that. Hey, 
Hey, you know, let's just burn them to death. With the, burn them to death with their staff. Yeah, that works out well enough. Okay. Is there somebody else down here? Or is the camera just spazzing out for the fuck of it? Yeah, I think the camera's just spazzing out for the heck of it. Executioner staff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, ice damage. It's not that great. I'm gonna be mad if that cave last episode took me to the area, um, Orca Rain, and set the level to something I didn't want it to be set to. That'll be mildly irritating. Because as much as I like killing these guys without a fight, it gets kind of boring after a while, and I, I like the ones where they actually do give us a fight. Let's see more rocks over here, if I can ever get to them. Ah, there we go. See, how's our... Yeah, inventory's doing okay. We need more bag space. And there's a bunch of you guys. Uh, let's uh, summon this guy here. And let's try to... Let's finish this. Alright, let's... Uh, there you go. Get everybody nice and grouped up. Get it grouped up again. No, do not, do not fate. I don't want to fate. I just want to get them all together. There you go. And there you go. Do a nice, uh... I was going to say a nice lightning bolt, but... I always forget those damn things have a cooldown. Yeah, that was easy enough. I'm assuming the other path would have been a little harder if you had to worry about invisible traps that, like, sapped half your health every time you walked by one. Alright, there is Agarth, I think. Or it could be uh, this guy right here. You appear to... Uh, I was about to say, he seems like you have slightly higher health, but maybe not. That was easy enough. What is this? It's a uh, that's a weird looking chest. Um. Okay, hang on a second, dude. I am trying. Dying mortal has grown tired of running, has he? Decided to fight back. Can you tell me the difference between a creature of nature and a child of dust like yourself? I don't pulsate a bright red. Um. Other than that, I don't really care. We children of nature know our roles. Meek and mighty. Prey and predators. Life and death. All serve the cycle. You children of dust do not know your place. You come into our land. You come to face your hunters. And you, you don't know when to die. Yeah, I don't even know who you are, dude. Sorry. You shall learn. In time, all mortals will know the might of Gadflow. Blessed herald of the merciful Tiernock. All mortals end. Even if some are more persistent than others. At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflow. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. Uh, how about you give me a chance to get the personal attention of that treasure chest to my left there? That'd be, uh, really nice. I know where they're after me, so how can we fight them, I guess? You're doing well, so far. You've blinded them here, and they haven't killed you yet. And much as I hate to say it, you'll need to take Aelin Shear up on her offer of help. The Codex of Destiny should hold some answers for you. For all I know, you've already met her in the House of Ballads. But it sounds like she's the only lead now. Well, I talked to her, and there wasn't really a whole lot that happened because, well, her friend turned out to be a retard. Or an idiot, or something. You should be able to get out this way. 
Okay, hang on, dude. I, can I get this treasure chest now, or, or is somebody else going to block me off from getting it? And it's a gimpy longbow. Great. These longbows kind of suck, actually. I mean, the fact that they have, like, a five-arrow quiver size is just sad. I know you can upgrade it through the finesse options and the finesse tree or whatever, but still, I think it maxes out at, like, what, ten arrows, it seems like. Uh, let's see if I can't see it. Um, abilities. Let's see. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it appears to max out at like a grand total of ten arrows, unless any of these other things increase your arrow size, which I don't think they do. Yeah, I think only those, uh, I think only those, the ones in this row right here, do anything to your arrows capacity. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not seeing. I'm just not seeing the appeal. I guess. Eh, let's see. You know, we could explore this area over here. See what see what we missed. I'm gonna guess that there's still gonna be a few enemies for us to to take care of. Why is it saying I can unlock the door when it's already wide open? Is there like some other door that I'm not seeing here? I'm missing something, aren't I? Okay, it could try to kill me. That works. Um, okay. I guess unlocking that was pointless since it just tried to kill me. Oh, well. Alright, let's see what we got to loot-wise over here. Uh, lock picking, easy... Yeah, easy enough. Cloudy fire shard, that's decent. Uh, let's see. Hopefully there's some... There's a... Why is there a blacksmithing forge down here? Oh, and these are the Bargus that he was talking about. I don't know if that's going to help or if they're going to try to... Try to eat my face off when I go talk to them. But, you know what? We could always try it, I guess. Yeah, they'll probably try to eat me instead of help me, but... Nearby lever. Okay, this thing right here. And these guys are going to try to... They're going to ignore me. Okay. Yeah, maybe they'll try to kill me later. I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't just... Say, you know what? Fuck you, dude. I'm just going to eat your face. Because, well, that's what they like to do. I mean, I completely, I completely expected them to just say, you know what, I don't care if you are the enemy or the guy who let me free. You're the enemy of the main story, so we're just going to attack you anyways. But that works out well enough if they don't bother bother me like that. Let's see. Ooh, more might stuff, finally. Not that it's that great, but it's tolerable, I guess. Staff of Ravaging. Eh, fire damage. Not bad, I guess. Okay, again, I'm not sure why there's a blacksmithing forge down here, but, okay, I'll ignore it, I guess. There really needs to be a way to fast travel out of dungeons. I mean, ow! Okay, I walked right over that. That was my fault. I saw it as I was stepping over it, so, oops. But anyways, there really needs to be a way to fast travel out of dungeons. I mean, there's ways to fast travel... Everywhere else, you just can't fast travel through, well, dungeons. See, can I disarm this? Ah, there we go. Disarm arrow launcher. Uh, that sounds dangerous to my health. There is a ton of traps around here, actually. Alright, what does this do? I'm guessing that was the arrows. Uh, let's see, where would they have come out of? Oh, they would have just came out of there? Okay. I thought they came out of, like, some other area here. Oh, kobolds, okay. Uh, for a second, I thought they was gonna, those were going to be the uh, bar guests that I rescued, but no, the bar guests are more or less leaving me alone, I guess. Which is nice. It's nice to see that they have some honor. Yes, 
clobber you guys with some uh, ice spells if you don't mind. Dude! It's a shame we didn't get a fight, uh. That red dude. He would have been a nice little boss fight. Okay, stop spazzing out there, dude. Eh, oh well. You're dead. I don't care. Um, where is this gonna take me? Is this just gonna take me. Okay, you wanna destroy these boxes over here? Thanks, appreciate that. Uh, let's see, this is gonna take me. Oh, right over there. Um, I don't think there's anything at the entrance over there. But it never hurts to check, I guess. Yeah, I think I preferred the the uh, the brute force method of entry. Nice and easy, like don't have to worry about any of these bear traps. We got to disarm. Uh, yeah, it takes us out to Gundara. Okay. Yeah, nothing really exciting on this path. There's no hidden rocks or anything, I guess. So, yeah, I'm glad we took the the guns blazing path. It'd be nice if we had, like, a pistol option for our ranged weapons. Not that it would really be that essential, but it'd be nice. There's a lot of treasure chests over here, so that's nice, I guess. Hazarite Greaves. Ooh, 19. Um... I could probably socket some armor in there. Yeah, I'll take those. Sure, why not? And, yeah, let's take the rest of that stuff, too. There you go. Thanks. Hey, they're just ignoring me. I guess if I turn the safety off, I can... Okay, I can't turn the safety off. I like how they're actually attacking someone besides me for a change. Nice. More board gifts. Very nice. Holy crap, how many of these guys do you have in here? Jeez. There's like 12 of you dudes. Well, maybe more like 7, but still. There's a lot of these guys for whatever reason. And apparently this wants to take us the high path. But I want to make sure there's no, like, 5 gold in those boxes over there real fast. And then we'll get the drops on those uh, cobalt dudes over to the other area. There we go. Very nice. Bueno. I guess this would be a really good path to take if you had a finesse build and you were just going to stealth everything to death. You're a good man there, Mr. Uh, Bargast. It'd be nice if we could like summon these guys. It's a shame that the um, that the tree for what is it? Uh, sorcery doesn't let you summon different types of minions. Like you could specialize in summoning these guys or the fake Gortas like you normally get, or you could summon like a uh, Boggerts and they could do like d uh, dot damage, like a bunch of poison damage or something like that. That'd be that'd be pretty nice if you could like choose. Uh, I guess, like, choose the familiar you wanted to get, more or less. I think that'd be a nice little touch. But, oh well. Anyways, let's get out of here. We've been uh, dicking around in here enough. Hello, where the fudge did you guys come from? That's a lot of kobolds. Um, sure, I'll fate wave all you guys. Why not? In any luck, I can get you guys all in a nice little circle here, and that'd be... That'd be, uh... Perfect. Alright, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. You're doing good. Nice. Come on, 100%. Yes.
Very nice. You guys, you guys sat together in a nice little group, group for me. So I made my life very easy. Can we do anything with this thing, or is this thing just gonna no? Oh, is that the one? No, that's not the one I destroyed. You know, they never. Uh, do they, are they ever gonna show us where the second mirror is, or did I accidentally destroy it over there and I just didn't notice? That's always a possibility. But we're pretty much done in here, I think. That was a fun little dungeon. Nice little approach. They had uh, two ways to do it. Alright, are you back in a Dighton Hill there, pal? You are... Nero Lim. Oh, that's the... Uh, that's the chick from... Or not the chick. The uh, person they wanted to meet from... What is it? Uh, the one that, what's her face, wanted me to meet. Uh, okay, why weren't you letting me? Star camp. Meet. It says meet something there. I'm not sure what it's trying to say, though. Uh, meet somebody. I don't know. But you know what? We did a pretty good job getting through the Hunter's Cave today, and I think next time we're going to uh, make sure there's nothing else to do over in Dighton Hill, which I don't think there is, and then we'll head out to, well, the Star Camp right here, and, well, see if we can't get anything done there. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.